That was a little bit rotten, that. Leroy Jenkins! Oh, is that my bar? Oh! That's a present from me and Carl. Oh! Ram reading! Have we got any bolts? Fuck, you don't want much, do you? Look at that. Get some lights on that one and LED now. No pressure, Mark. Hey. No pressure. <laughs> Be quickly, you've got to put another quid in meter. I think it's quite a deep one. Fucking hell, we might need a bump from Bernard. I'm going to fucking shelter, innit? Sure, mate. Oh, yeah, that. I mean, it's got a bit of tick to it. Double stuff. I wouldn't mind if the eyes are gone as well. <laughs> it worries me when the man, the man that plays machetes and bin bags in the woods, hires a digger. Yeah, you can dig deeper holes, can't you? You need to get out, want to put some slabs in here. I'm glad you've come, Mr. Muscle. I'm going for my morning poo first. <laughs> I'm going for my poo. Grip a bit to the side, hopefully, and then we'll just yeah. Some of them get get some out here and I'll chuck them in. So what he's doing is um, he's basically just pulling a bit of material and uh, some hardcore and bits into the the holes, just trying to keep it. Because we're, we're coming in out out of here a lot at winter, so it's just maintaining it before it turns into a great big mud run, which it's a bit of a laugh with some of the vehicles, but we don't want to trash the place, so. When you're renting a woodland, last thing you need is to be booted off because you're making a mess, isn't it? So. Ah, so a little bit of a late one last night, not that late really, but it gets dark early, you have your tea, you have a few drinks, I've got an iPad now with um, it's about 10 gig of data or something like that on it, and what I do is I just, um, I've got a really good 4G in this woods, so I just stick a comedian on and we'll uh, sit around and have a few drinks watching that, so just a bit of entertainment and then get back to uh, putting the world to rights a bit later on. So a bit of a late morning for everyone to get up. The uh, some few people are already up, like, but everyone's taking it easy. We're um, just scrape the fire around a bit, put a few dry twigs and branches and things like that on. So hopefully by the time we get back, that's taken. It was just a, a load of ash. It must have burnt down really, really well last night because there's barely any ash this morning. So ah, yeah, this is the kind of thing. It's absolutely nothing in the grand scheme of things, you know what I mean? But it's one of them ones where someone with like a a crossover or a more standard vehicle, they're going to struggle to get in and out here. Plus, whatever this dries as, it pretty much stays as. So, you know, when it comes to spring, summer, you don't want to be going over all these undulations and, and dicking about. It's, it's nice just to be able to get in. And that way, if someone comes in, say, a van or something like that, they, they can just get in. With stuff like these, which... They don't look much, but when you look at the articulations from 
side to side it works out just wrong to get your cross axle and get your mud you know your, your tires in the in the crap Edna pushes her way through because she's a fat girl it just pushes in and goes but you know it's, you've got to keep it looking something like So you're cooking mess? Yeah. Do you want to build a mess line? <laughs> we give one to see. You just want some box standard roll with it? No, no, no. I want to be efficient. Two seconds, mate, and I won't. You sleep right in the penthouse. In this corner. Let's get from the side because that is proper. That is a good effort, that. What was that? Hyundai Gets. A Hyundai Gets? Yeah. That was gone. That was the total front end was gone. Wow. And you won't even tell now, would you? New winch bumper, new steering guard. And the other guy, this car scrap. Yeah. I've got to have a big jigsaw for Christmas. Well, I'll tell you that's about ready for people to start digging in. So there's a case of bread buns there. If you're going to help yourself to that, help yourself to whatever's on here. Fill your boots. So this has started growing upwards, but there's too much weight over the front, so we just going to adjust this. I'll fucking check them every time I get them. Whack it on the, on the uh, fire force, please, Moscow. Do you want some more wind on this? You alright with that? It's got like a tinderbox, doesn't it? 
I've got some pure olive oil in the back of the Land Rover and it's gone solid. Mm. It's that cold in there, it's solid. No, I don't use olive oil for I know it goes a bit gooey, but... Don't argue with it. <laughs> Did you see the fear? <laughs> it just gripped me. <laughs> yeah. come, on, come here, come here. Can you imagine if Emily or Tina was here now with, him, with a pair of them? You wouldn't see them, honestly. Yeah. 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 It's just last night. It's a little bit longer. I like how he makes up his my fault. So we got plenty done uh, yesterday, got a load of the lane scraped out, a bit of hardcore put in there and things. Uh, we've got a bit of the cookhouse, got the digger down to the cookhouse through the other end of the um, the woods and, and dug out the sides a little bit more so there's more room for people to sit if the weather gets bad when we're cooking pizzas in there, because that's what we're doing, we're putting with them big stone built pizza oven things. So that's coming on slowly, that needs to be done by probably end of spring, something like that. Uh, we're giving the first lane a bit of a rest. We're not using that till uh, probably late spring, early summer. And that's why uh, we're doing all these bits of maintenance. See if we can scrape it all off um, before we leave. And then it's got a bit of time to dry in a, a new position instead of the big ruts and what have you. Uh, we had curried goat last night. That was amazing. As per, that's uh, Stu's, I think it was uh, good because he got that off. She's Gurkha one. So, just gonna have a walk down to the bottom, have a bit of wash, get myself tidied up, and uh, <coughs> I'll go back and get some breakfast on for everyone. Got some breakfast, lads.
camp out of the way, sorted. Thanks to everybody that's come. Had a cracking weekend. Got a bit of work done on the site and everything. Had a bit of work on the lane. Not very successful, but nevertheless, we had a crack at it. We've evened it out a little bit. So that's that sorted. A little bit of a different location, which made a hell of a difference. Just being a few hundred yards to one side of where we normally are. It's a different set of trees. It's, it's still a little bit different, isn't it? So. Um, Going away green lighting next month, so that should be good. Got uh, a little bit more to do on the trailer probably next weekend. Uh, that's about it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, that's. Oh, people joining uh, that want to be on the Bug Out Vehicles UK Facebook group. Um, if you put a, a request thing to join it, just bear in mind if you don't get onto it or if you get binned off, have a look at your security settings. So I've had a few people want to join where they've got. No pretty much profile picture, no cover photo, there's no friends showing, there's no, no you know, so if you look at that, it looks like a fake account, and fake accounts aren't coming on the page. So if you ever think that I've mugged you off or something, maybe have a look at your security settings because it looks like a fake profile because you, you've blacked off so much stuff, which I totally get, but don't be surprised when people think you're uh, obviously a fake account. So that's that one. So let's bug out vehicle space for Bug Out Vehicles UK Facebook group, that one. Um, and same with the friend requests. I've had quite a few people sending me friend requests, and I've got no idea who they are or anything like that. So I'm, you might have 27 mutual friends, but if I don't know you, I don't know you. Um, so my Facebook profile account is, is mine. I don't add other people to it unless I know you. So, but if you want to talk to me anything like that, I'm on the group. So chat to me on the group. Um, like I say, it's, I've got Instagram, Bug Out Vehicles UK. I put everything on there. I've got this YouTube, how much do people want off me? You know what I mean? So that's that's why I keep my Facebook for me. So just throwing that out there, and I'm in totally the wrong lane here. And again, I know I always say it, but it's the way uh, YouTube plays its games. If you haven't already given me a thumbs up and you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up, give us a comment, all that jazz. Because at the end of the day, it gets uh, it works on all the YouTube algorithms and it puts the videos higher up there and uh, it just does its thing. So I appreciate if you do that for me.